back with another lit video for you guys. Today we're going to be simulating the 2021-2022 NBA season. We're going to find out who's going to make it to the playoffs, who's going to be the MVP, who's going to be the defensive player of the year, the rookie of the year, so and so. It's, it's, it's about to get lit. This video is going to get lit. 82 game season, all the everything, best of seven, it's all going to be legit. We're going to simulate this season and we're going to find out who 2K22 is going to is gonna make the NBA champion, who they're going to give the awards to, coach of the year, etc, etc. Before we get started, if you are a fan of the NBA, a fan of NBA 2K, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are only 700 subscribers away from 2K subs, where we decided we will be doing a huge lit face reveal in NBA 2K21. So again, man, consider smashing that subscribe button if you're a fan of 2K. We release daily lit content, lit streams, as always. Now, the team that I'm gonna I'm gonna select as my user team, who I think I think well, I mean, I have a bias opinion because LeBron's my favorite player, but has a chance of winning the NBA championship. The Los Angeles Lakers. You know, now they got Russell Westbrook. I I want to see the Lakers win the championship. So I'm gonna I'm gonna select the Los Angeles Lakers. I wanted low key the Pistons, but I know Pistons are gonna have a rough year, um, so I'll, I'm not gonna go with the Pistons. Uh, looking at this lineup, we got LeBron, AD, Westbrook. You know, going through some of the other teams. Uh, you know, looking at the ratings, LeBron 96 so far highest. Trey Young's a 90. That's interesting. Kawhi's a 96 too. While Giannis is a 97. So Giannis is the number one player. Overall, overall, in this game, uh, if we look at attribute stats, uh, wow, Chris Paul is at a 90 rating, D-Book's got a 90 rating, John Wall 83, uh, wow, they made Cade Cunningham at 80, okay, come on, you guys are doing injustice with the number one pick of the overall draft, that's Cade Cunningham, Detroit Piston, former Oklahoma State, man, come on, that's, you guys gotta give him at least an 85, 87. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be simulating the whole regular season. What I'm going to do it is I'm going to simulate up until the All-Star break, which is halfway of the 81 games. And I'm going to see what, and once we do get to that halfway mark, to the All-Star break, we're going to be seeing who leads the league in points, rebounds, steals, assists, so-and-so, rookie reports, all that good stuff. Again, this is the Los Angeles Lakers. We get off to a rough start as you guys see there. Wow, Anthony Davis is injured. Two to four weeks pulled right at our hamstring. My thing on there, guys, is if AD stays healthy, LeBron stays healthy, Westbrook stays healthy, they build chemistry, you know, they got a little bit of bands, DeAndre Jordan. I think they have a they have a legit chance. And as you guys see here, they're finding rhythm 12 and 5 after a slow start. The uh, Lakers, uh, no, they would not, never ever would they trade Westbrook for Siakam and Gordon Dragic. But they, they get off to a slow start. If they find chemistry, if they can stay healthy, I think the Lakers have a, have a very, very strong chance at winning the NBA championship this year. I think it's either going to be the Lakers or Nets. My predictions that who's going to win the NBA championship this year. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Who do you guys think is going to win the NBA championship this year? I want you guys to comment below right now. Who do you think will win the NBA championship this year? Who do you guys think will be the MVP this year? Do you guys think it's going to be Nikola Jokic again? Or maybe it's going to be Giannis or LeBron, someone else. I want to know that. Who do you guys think is going to be the rookie of the year? Comment that below too. I really, I'm really interested to see how you guys feel about this season. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's about to be a really, really interesting season. Obviously, there's a lot of new talent coming in. Some players have changed their teams. I mean, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lit season. And this, the reason I also, another one of the reasons that I want to simulate this season on uh, 2K22 right off the bat is I want to see what, you know, the, the computer thinks. You know, this is a computer simulation. It's got all the stats, attributes as close as possible, apparently. Too realistic as possible. So by this, I'm going to get a good idea. Of what is it? It's, it's, it's the end of September right now, 2021. So by the time the NBA Finals next year starts, I'm going to look at this video. You guys can look at this video too and see how it did stack up with reality if you don't know, need the video that that we simulated here in 2k22 it really did wow like i have a feeling that we're gonna be next year in the finals and we're gonna look at this video and it's gonna be like wow yo, like that that was so close like it's crazy how they they you know 2k22 predicted all this uh, predicted the playoff matchups the mvp candidates the all-stars all that good stuff 
I think we have a good chance at that. Or it's gonna be the total opposite, and this, you know, this simulation is gonna be a total, 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 um, complete opposite of what's actually gonna happen in real life. So we did um, reach the all-star break there, and the record, as you guys see, trade deadline is here, 34-22 for your Los Angeles Lakers, which is not, not the worst. We still got two games, take an L to the Warriors, beat the Jazz. I don't know why we took an L to the Warriors. So like, I wanna see if LeBron's injured or AD still injured. Okay, they're both, they're both playing. So that makes no sense to me how like a Rondo and DeAndre Jordan got DMP coaches decision. How does Carmelo have zero points in 27? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, this is not a Lakers thing. This is not a Lakers thing. This is a whole, we're simulating the whole 2021-22 NBA season. This has nothing to do with the Lakers. So, like I said in the beginning, once we do get to the All-Star break, All-Star break, I'm going to go and I'm going to I'm going to go see the stats to see who is winning the who has the most points so far in the season points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game and steals per game. Starting off with the team records, Let's start with the West Coast. The Clippers are in first with the 44-17 record. Jazz have a 39-19 and in second. Mavericks, 37-22. Lakers, 35-23. Pelicans, 34-25. Warriors have a 34-26 record. And the Trailblazers have a 31-28 record. After that, you guys can see it's below 500 teams. Interesting to see Phoenix Suns below 500 there. Let's go into the East Coast and let's start from the bottom to the top Cavs 19 and 40 my Pistons 19 and 39 I'm sick man Cade's gonna make it better than that I don't like that uh, we see in the Knicks 27 32 Miami Heat 29 and 30 Bulls 30 30 Pacers 30 30 Celtics at the top with a 41 and 19 record second best record in the NBA after the Clippers I believe Bucks sitting at two well the Nets and the Bucks are tied with a 0.617 win percentage 76ers had 33 and 25. So interesting, interesting. The league standings are there. We're halfway through the season. Let's take a look at the individual stats. Bradley Beal leads the NBA with 36.7 points per game. That's insane, absolutely insane. Luca at number two with 35 a game. Giannis with 31 a game. Dane with 30 a game. Zach Levine 29 a game. Trey Young 29.7 a game. De'Aaron Fox 29 a game. He's got a little injury there. Joel Embiid 29.7. And Donovan Mitchell wraps up to wraps up there. Uh, LeBron's at number 25 in the league with 23.7 a game. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy that LeBron is he's only averaging 23. I don't know. Let's go to rebounds per game. Joel Embiid's got 14.2. He's the number one rebounder per game. Giannis at two with 13.9. Crazy. Sabonis at three. Jokic at four. Rudy Gobert, Capella, Andre Drummond, Vucevic. And Julius Randle end up that list. Assists. Chris Paul there with assists. Of course, he's got 9.6 leads the league. James Harden number two with assists through the All Star break. That's interesting. Ben Simmons at six. Spencer Dinwiddie at eight. Russell Westbrook in the top ten too. Steals per game. You know, you know. Hey, Kawhi the claws number two. Jimmy Butler number four with 2.4. De'Aaron Fox, Ben Simmons, Paul George, Chris Paul. Look at Lonzo Ball with 1.9. Man, he's in the top ten steals per game. Uh, Lamelo's in the top 10 too. Wow. Let's compare these brothers, man, with their predictions. Lamelo's averaging 20.5 a game. Yeah, Lamelo's stats are way, way higher than that. In there. Let's go to blocks per game. Giannis number one. Rudy Gobert number two. Wow. We got Carl Anthony Towns, man. He's kind of underrated. Capella's in there. Miles Turner's playing with the Hawks this year. A lot of players going to a lot of different teams. Like, I have to get used to some of these names, you know, in different uniforms. Like, there's so many changes this season. Like, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Three-pointers made. I'm trying to see where my boy... Where, wow. Maybe... Wow. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I, maybe I just missed it. But I was looking for Steph Curry, bro. There's no way he's got one point nine. He's, he's probably going to be in the top five. He's probably in the top five. Yeah. Um, top ten. I, I, it's whatever. I see. I see. I see. But... Those are the, the leaders so far, the stats up until um, the halfway mark. Rookie report, let's take a look at the rookies. Cade Cunningham at number two with 16.9. Uh, Evan Mobley has 17 points per game. He's got more rebounds per game. Uh, Cade's got more assists, more steals uh, prediction-wise. More blocks for Evan Mobley, obviously, with his position playing at the four. 
Uh, Jalen Suggs is doing is gonna have a good season. It looks like Jalen Green too. Uh, Scotty Barnes. Okay, the rookie report. I mean, we can't really say much up until we get to the end. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate this whole regular season. We're gonna go and see who wins the MVP, who wins the Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Coach of the Year, Six Man of the Year, Most Improved of the Year. Uh, we're gonna see who's ranked number one. We're gonna see what the playoff standings are, and we're gonna see who's gonna win this NBA championship this week. We come down to our awards. Luka Doncic, MVP of the 2021-22 NBA season, ladies and gentlemen, 34.5. Points a game, 8.7 rebounds, 8.8 .8 assists, 1.1 steal, 0.9 blocks, and 0.536 shooting percentage. His free throw was a 0 .74, 0 .434 from downtown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new NBA MVP. Luka Doncic takes the crown from Nikola Jokic, apparently. Rookie of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, this is wrong. All right, this is wrong. Kate Cunningham will be the rookie of the year. Man, but hey, according to this simulation, the rookie of the year goes to Evan Mobley, 16.5 a game, 9.7 rebounds, and 1.8 assists, 1.1 steals a game. This is funny. Sixth man of the year, Andre Drummond, 15 points a game, 12.4 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.4 steals, 1.1 blocks. So apparently he's with the 76ers now. I didn't even know he's, he's a scrub. In my opinion. He's, yeah, he's a scrub. Defensive player of the year, Giannis. Giannis. Onto the Kumpo. Look at those defensive stats. He could have won MVP low key with that 31.7. 13.5 rebounds. He gets 1.6 steals a game. 2.7 blocks. He gets the defensive player of the year. The most improved player of the year is going to be Daniel Gafford. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, Daniel Gafford. Uh, he's uh, drafted in the second round, pick 8 in 2009. I've heard of him. I've heard of him, but. I mean, I don't think he's going to be the most improved player of the year, 2K. Like, you really think he's going to be the most improved player of the year, guys? I don't know. But you guys need to comment who you guys think will win all those awards that we just went over. Coach of the year, Ime Utka. Utka? Who is Ime Utka, bro? Who is this, bro? Who is he? 58 and 24. First conference first. Oh, so he's oh okay. So he's the, oh he's the coach of the Celtics. Okay, because he's first in his conference. 58 and 24. He's gonna lead them boys to a 58 24 record. Really? The Celtics are balling like that with Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Wow. I know they got Dennis Schroeder on their squad, but Ime Utka is gonna lead them to a record that good, bro. Like. Hey, more power to him. I guess he's a rookie coach and he wins coach of the year in his first year. He might just be the best. He might just be the best. But ladies and gentlemen, you guys see it right there. Luka Doncic is the MVP. That's the big news. All that be a first team. You have to look at that. Luka Doncic, James Harden, Giannis, Hansi Kuhl. LeBron's injured. No, four to six weeks. That's not good for our squad. And Nikola Jokic, man. He hasn't been making a lot of noise. Uh, in this in these uh, stats I haven't really seen him you know the uh, the MVP of last year is a 95 overall in this game all NBA second team Bradley Beal Trey Young Jason Tatum Jimmy Buckets uh, De'Aaron Fox SGA Sabonis Anthony Davis and Cat are in the all NBA third team that's interesting a lot of a lot of good names there you guys see Cat Davis um, that could definitely easily be in the all NBA one and two teams all defensive first team PG 13 Ben Simmons, Giannis, Kawhi, and Nurse Noel. Drew Holiday, Chris Paul, LeBron James, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo in the all NBA defensive second team. All rookie first team, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Kay Cunningham, Jalen Suggs, Josh Giddy. That sounds just about right. Good to see my boy Kay Cunningham there representing the Detroit Pistons. All rookie second team, Jalen Green, Franz Wagner representing the University of Michigan. Let's go, Franz. Let's go. Good to see him on there uh, on that list. James Bugnight, Jonathan Kuminga, and Davion Mitchell to wrap up the all rookie second team. This looks all, you know, realistic. I can take it, give or take all NBA uh, rookie team one and two. You know, you could give and take plus or minus, add them, subtract them from each list. Uh, you could put each or all. So we have a play in tournament if you guys aren't familiar with the NBA playoffs. Uh, but now we have 10 teams that qualify do or die games so the winner of the the Phoenix Suns versus Memphis Grizzlies will go on to face 
I believe it's the Portland Trailblazers and the Denver Nuggets, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did that all wrong. I did that all wrong. So, the winner of Portland and Denver will face Utah. Yeah, there we go. And the winner of Phoenix and... Is it Phoenix and... Uh... I don't know how that's working. I don't know. I'm not. It's it's really not that confusing as it seems. But so they won their game. They won their game. You guys can see there the Nuggets. Beat, wow. So the Nuggets beat the the Portland Trailblazers. So they faced Phoenix because they were the nine seed. Okay, and the winner faces the one seed. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And since the trail the Nuggets defeated the I'm trying to see the stat card right here. Yeah, since the Nuggets beat the Trailblazers, they went automatically to face the Phoenix Suns um, in that round. Look at Bradley Beal dropping 48 points, man, against the Bucks. Giving the Bucks a smackdown, man. Giving the Bucks a smackdown. So, this is what the playoff pictures are looking like, ladies and gentlemen, for the 2021-22 NBA playoffs. The Clippers versus the Trailblazers, that would be an insane first, uh, first round matchups. Warriors versus Pelicans. Mavericks versus Lakers in 3-6, and six. Utah versus Denver. In the East, we have Boston versus Milwaukee, the 8th seed, that's crazy. Chicago versus Atlanta, 4-5. Philly versus Toronto, 3-6. And, and the Brooklyn Nets versus the Washington Wizards, 2-7, and seven. man. I'm really excited to simulate this this um, this playoff simulation right here. I got, the, I got the Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Lakers. That's my predictions. That's my predictions. First round, Boston wins 4-1 against Milwaukee. Chicago loses in 7 to Atlanta. The 76ers sweep the Raptors. That's funny. And the Nets sweep Washington on the West. Clippers win in 7 against Dame Time. And the Trailblazers. Wow, Warriors win in 7 too. You know them, they're going to be tired for that second round matchup. Lakers win in 6 against the Mavericks. And the Jazz win 5 against the Nuggets. We have a round 2 matchup. The semifinals are ready with the Eastern and Western Conference semifinals. Clippers versus the Warriors. Look at the Warriors making noise again. Steph and Clay looking healthy, I guess. I guess. Jazz versus the Lakers. Boston versus the Hawks. And the Brooklyn Nets versus the 76ers. Let's simulate the Eastern and Western Conference semifinals here. Okay, okay, okay. One and two, Boston versus Brooklyn. Hey, what a prediction, man. What a prediction. And we have the Lakers versus... I know the Lakers won. Lakers got the W. Lakers got the W. Jordan Carson tried to try to put up a game. That was a game seven, man. LeBron drops 37-37 in 36 minutes. Nine rebounds, seven assists, one turnover. In game seven, what a win. And the Clippers... What? They lost to the Warriors? No way. Steph went crazy. Eric Bledsoe, Marcus Morris. Oh, Kawhi was injured. So Kawhi apparently had an injury. Again, man, this is all simulated. Realistic injuries are on. Everything's realistic as possible. Clippers are eliminated. So we have the Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. The Celtics beat the Hawks in seven games to face the Nets in the West Eastern Conference Finals. And they beat the Nets. We have an upset, ladies and gentlemen. We have an upset. Oh, my word. Unbelievable. In six game, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Ennis Cantor. Wow, they upset James Harden, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. Wow, what is going on? LaMarcus Aldridge is a net too. Oh, yeah, he is. I forgot. I forgot. Ladies and gentlemen, 2K22 making a prediction right here. Lakers versus Boston. The Boston Celtics versus the Los Angeles Lakers will be the NBA Finals. Hey, comment right now if you guys think 2K is is is, is, is right. Or if 2K is wrong. Is wrong. I'm just going to simulate this round. Let's see who will be the 2021-2022 NBA Champion. The Celtics win it. Four games to two against the Los Angeles Lakers. The Boston Celtics have won the NBA championship, ladies and gentlemen, according to NBA 2K22 simulation of this season. Jason Tatum wins the finals MVP. Yo, that's high, bro, but they only won in six games. Was there any injuries? Let's take a look at it. And it's gone to 29 point, 23 points in 24. Jalen Brown doing work. Dennis Shorter against his former team. Dwight Howard against his former team. Bazemore against his former team. Rondo against his former team. Yo. Yo, like, I mean, 
it's 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 celebration time for Boston apparently. Hey, if you're a Celtics fan, turn up man. 2K22 thinks you guys are gonna win next year in this simulation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button for your boy. I'm out. Peace.